Hi, in this lesson we will consider the equation of the plane. In a Cartesian coordinate system, the equation of the alpha plane is given by ratio ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0. x, y, z are the coordinates of the point here, which lie in this plane, and a, b and c are given numbers. By the way, the vector n with coordinates a, b and c is a vector perpendicular to a given alpha plane. This vector is called normal. Normal in the plane. For example, let's draw our coordinates and draw some plane, alpha. Let's say this is alpha. Then the normal is a vector perpendicular to this plane. Thus, any plane is defined by such a ratio and vice versa. Such a ratio defines a certain plane. Depending on what data we know, we can draw up different equations of the plane. In particular, this equation is called the general equation of the plane. We can also draw up an equation for a plane. If we have a normal, that is, we have a vector perpendicular to our plane, and some point to which this plane belongs. That is, let's assume that we need to draw a plane through a given point M0. Moreover, this plane should be perpendicular to this normal. Then we can calculate the equation of the plane as follows. It is A times, it is A times X minus X0 plus B X minus Y minus Y0 plus C. Z minus Z0 is equal to 0. Thus, if we know normal of the plane and some point that lies in this plane, then we can draw up its equation. We can transform this ratio and bring it to this form. For example, let's have a vector n with coordinates 1, 2, 3 and point m0 with coordinates, let's say, 5, 0, minus 3. It is required to draw up an equation of plane that passes through m0 and is perpendicular to the vector n. We use this ratio, a, in our case it is 1, multiplied by x minus x0, x minus x0, plus b, multiplied by y, minus y0, y0 in our case is 0, plus c, by z, minus z0, that is minus minus 3 is 3, is equal to 0. We got the equation of our plane. Let's simplify it a bit. Let's open the brackets. There is x plus 2y plus 3z. Now let's calculate the numbers. Minus 5, there is 0, plus 9, plus 4. We have drawn up the general equation of this plane. As we know from the school course, a plane passes through three points that don't lie on the same line and only one plane. So we can derive a plane knowing only three of its points. Let's have three points. A with coordinates x1, 1. A with coordinates x1, y1, z1. B with coordinates x2, y2, z2. And C with coordinates x3, y3, z3. It is required to draw up the equation of a plane which passes through these three points. It turns out that we can draw up the equation of this plane using the determinant. The first line is x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1. The second line is x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. And the last line is x3 minus x1. y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1, is equal to 0. Calculating the determinant, transforming, and getting some relation with respect to x, y, and z. And this ratio just gives us a plane, passing through these three points. Let's consider an example. Let's suppose we have three points, and it is required to find the equation of the plane that passes through them. We make a determinant for that. The first line is x minus x1 y minus y1, z minus z1. The second line is x2 minus x1, that is 2 minus 5 minus 3. 
y2 minus y1, that is 3 minus 4 minus 1, and z2 minus z1, that is minus 2 minus 3 minus 5. And the third line is x3, that is 3 minus x1 minus 5, 4 minus 4, 0, 2 minus 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. This ratio gives us the equation of the plane, but we need to simplify it. To do this, we need to do the following. We need to decompose, we need to decompose the determinant into elements of the first row. The first element is x minus 5. It should be multiplied by its cofactor. Namely, we cross out the first row and the first column by this determinant. Calculating the determinant right now, it is equal to 1. That is x minus 5 times 1. Minus comes next, because it's the first row, the second column. 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 1. Y minus 4 multiply by its cofactor. That is, we cross out its row and its column. 3 minus 5 remains 2 minus 1. We calculate this determinant. This is 3 minus 10 minus 7. And plus z minus 3. Calculate its cofactor. It is 3 minus 3, 1 minus 2, 0. We calculate the determinant. It is 0 minus 2. So minus 2 is equal to 0. It remains to simplify. So first we pull x out. That is x plus 7y minus 2z. And let's just calculate the numbers. It is minus 5. Here it is. Three minuses are given minus. 7 by 4 is 28. Minus 5 minus 28 is minus 33. And minus 3 by minus 2, that's 6. Minus 33 plus 6 minus 27 is equal to 0. So this plane is a plane that passes through three given points. And finally, let's consider two important problems related to planes. The first one is to find the angle between two planes. Let's have two planes. The first plane is given by the equation a1x, b1y, c1z plus d1 is equal to 0. The second plane is given by the equation a2x, b2y, c2z plus d2 is equal to 0. In order to find the angle between these planes, we'll find the angle between their normals. The normal of the first plane is a vector with coordinates a1, b1, c1. Normal of the second plane is a vector with coordinates a2, b2, c2. Then we'll find the angle between vectors n1 and n2. Let me remind you that the angle between them is found using the scalar product, namely the cosine of the angle n1 and 2. The cosine of the angle between these vectors is equal to the scalar product of these vectors, divided by their product length. Thus, we can find the angle between two planes, knowing the normals. This is the first problem, and the second problem is to find the distance from a point to a plane. Let's have a plane ax, by, cz plus d is equal to zero. And we have some point m0 with coordinates x0, y0, z0. We need to find the distance between them. In order to find the distance between a point and a plane, we use the following formula. The distance is calculated as modulus. We need to substitute this point into this equation of the plane. We get ax0 plus by0 plus cz0 plus d. Take the modulus of this expression and divide by the length of the normal to this plane. That is by the length of a vector with coordinates a, b, and c. And let me remind you that its length is calculated as a squared, b squared, c squared, under the root. This value will give us the distance from a point to a plane. By the way, if point m lies in this plane, then it satisfies this equation. And then, when we substitute the point m in this plane, we get 0. As a result, we get 0 divided by something. This is 0. That is, the distance from the point m is equal to 0. This means that the point m lies in this plane. Thus, with the help of the equation of the plane, we can solve two important problems like this. This video lesson is over.